Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Let's Play Sonic Adventure. Alright, so we just finished with uh, Twinkle Park and uh, Speed Highway, or whatever it was called. Those were both pretty awesome stages. Oh, is that what the one dude was talking about when he said, Let's fight! They're going on strike, huh? So what do we do next? Uh, if the NPCs are talking about Amy, maybe we're supposed to find her. Whoops. Just trying to talk to people, I'm not trying to kill anybody. Oh, right. She talks about the burger shop statue, which sure fooled me too, little girl. It fooled both of us. I'm not in any position to criticize. Obstructing traffic. That's the Sonic the Hedgehog way. It's so much fun. Hmm. I would have to agree if uh, this is causing big problems for people not being able to travel, then it's kind of lame. Is your dad still not coming home? Are you sure about that? Oops, wrong button. Ugh, labor politics, the worst. Alright, confirmed about our objective then. I'm not gonna lie, I can kind of relate to this guy. Wah, I got stuck on thin air! That just takes me to the speed highway stage, I think. Hmm. Uh... What, what are you stuck on, Sonic? The bugs, the bugs. Oh, is there something I need to put a stop to? The pool is over this way. Oh, it's this guy. What have you done now? Well, I mean, I think we know what you've done. Oh, boy. You know, dude, shopping around is fine and all, but if you're two-timing or three or four or five-timing, I think these girls would be in their rights to kick your ass. Uh, did I come in from this direction, I think? Amy? Oh, man. Where can she be? Cutscene triggered. Him off at the Mystic Ruins. Oh no, Ashley, I mean, Amy's been kidnapped again. Now that I think about it, Ashley Graham and Amy Rose kind of have some things in common. Alright, the Mystic Ruins, huh? But the, uh... The trains aren't running. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Oh, never mind. I guess the trains are... The, the strike was resolved. Huzzah. That was abrupt. Those were some fast negotiations. Okay. <laughs> Yay, plot devices. Let me go, you hump and jump! I mean it! Hey there, bull brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Sonic is kind of tsundere toward Amy, isn't he? Hey, 
What's happening here? My music. Leon, help! Shoot, I lost her again. Bye, egg carrier. All right, well, if Sonic is pointing toward this. Maybe I need to go this way to chase it down. We. That's the ice cap. Oh, this is new. More mystical ruins. What is up with these weird cages with the robot monkeys in them? Hey, archaeologist dude. Yeah, I sure did. I have to agree, it is pretty cool. Well, you don't have super speed like I do, so I don't think you could have kept up. This is quite interesting. Oh, is that a Master Emerald? Sure looks like it. Doesn't seem like there's really anything else of interest over here. Whoa, whoa, Sonic! He's out of control! Don't fly off the bridge! What's this? This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Okay, cool. Uh, so what's the light speed attack? Oh, hey fairy. If only that monkey guard wasn't there. Ah, okay, I see. Do I need the light speed attack for this? Get wrecked. Okay, new action stage ahoy. Ah, it's time for the mountain stage then. Another Sonic classic. Or at least Sonic 2 had a mountain stage. I guess this one isn't quite as classic as some of the others, but we definitely have one of these in Sonic 2 at least. Get out of here, monkey. I'm trying to hit the fairy. Okay. I guess this would be one of those rockets then. Puzzle solving. Oh no! My rings! Get wrecked.
What the heck are you? Okay, you're unfriendly. Uh, oh, okay. It's a zip line or whatever. That was cool. Oh no! Oops. Okay, lesson learned. I need to actually watch my stuff there. Okay, let's not take this one at full speed, perhaps. At least not when we don't know the course by heart. Puzzle solving. And now it's jungle gym time. Wow, that's like a skull, a stone skull statue to breeze fire. That's kind of metal. I could have figured that out, fairy, but thanks. Nah, I can't jump through the bottom of them. This really is like a jungle gym. I'm on the teeter-totters now, or the seesaws, or whatever the heck they're called. Wah! Okay, that is a little cruel. I wonder if that's instant death if that crushes you. In the 2D Sonics it would be. Get wrecked, monkey. Okay, we're apparently on top of a volcanic caldera now. Aha! Time for Act 2. Ah, is this sort of the equivalent of the Lava Reef Zone? Perhaps, perhaps. Uh... Oops. Ugh. Glad that's not instant death. Well, I know I said it before, but these action stages really are just a lot of fun. Even with the somewhat loose controls, it's just so much fun dashing around at ridiculously high speeds. The 3D platforming is honestly pretty well done. And that's an achievement, because making 3D platforming good is not an easy thing to do. And it's just, I don't know, it's just really fast flowing, high speed action. You know, it's just enjoyable. There's like just enough obstacles that you can't just do it completely mindlessly and you have to kind of pay attention. But there's not so many obstacles that it drastically interrupts the, the flow of zipping around at ridiculously high speeds. That was kind of a problem 
with a lot of the 2D Sonics, in my opinion, is sometimes there were so many obstacles that, unless you just straight up have the level memorized, if you go around at full speed, you're just constantly running into things, which stops you and makes you lose all your rings. Ah, okay, at least it's not instant death. Alright, we made it. Good level. <laughs> that was kind of that was kind of funny how Sonic like pauses to watch the parrot fly around him. Is it time for Sky Chase Act 2? Alright, we we have a short video if we stopped here, so we're going straight on to Sky Chase Act 2 then. Some game. I said it before, but this is such a well done mini game. If you flesh this out a bit. You could pretty easily turn this into a, a complete rail shooter with this mini games engine. Especially with the gigantic egg carrier looming in the background, slowly getting closer to it. It's so cool. Like, this is legitimately better done than some actual dedicated rail shooters. Dodge it! Some of these parts kind of remind me of Afterburner, given that that's a. <laughs> so far, so good. Hope given... you know what you're doing. You bet. Watch this. Transforming now. <coughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Let's do it. Given that Afterburner is a Sega classic, it's probably not an accident that that this game kind of conjures that feeling. At least I kind of regard Afterburner on the Sega Genesis as a classic. I don't know if that's just me. Pretty ominous swirling black sky overhead. Now we fly between the engines. Oh, we're taking hits. Oh boy, I took another hit. We're getting low on health. Oh, is it boss fight time? I am taking a lot of damage. I 
having trouble hurting this thing. How do you do damage to it? Okay, that did some real damage. Wow. Take that, egg cannon. Ooh, a new adventure field. Tails, are you supposed to be some kind of genius? Wow, this thing is really huge. No time to gawk now. We need to find Amy. You're right, my friend. So here we go. All right, well. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we begin exploring the egg carrier to save Ashley. I mean Amy. Hopefully, you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.